everything that I need for study. Let's see, I've got, yes, my pen and paper here. Lovely, I've got my questions. Fantastic. Um, the subject should be through soon. I've got my testing triggers there. Got the blood pressure monitor, the stethoscope, fantastic. I think that's oh, come in. Hello, come on in, come on in. Oh, is it? It was nice and sunny earlier, it's just started to break. Mm, mm. Well, it's a good thing you're inside. Yeah, I can leave your coat there, that's fine. Yeah, just on that hook, lovely. Then make your way over. Oh, fantastic. Well, hello there. It's really lovely to meet you and thank you so much, sir, for being part of our special Gentleman's Sleep Clinic study. It is wonderful that you have volunteered to be a part of this and help us collect research when it comes to men and sleep. So thank you very much. Um, we will be exploring uh, relaxation as well. Um, so we'll be doing a test on the sort of sounds that you find relaxing. I'll also be asking you a series of questions to do with your sort of lifestyle, um, find out about your sleeping habits, and I'll also be taking your blood pressure um, and listening to your breathing. Okay, how does that sound? Wonderful. Oh, well, you sound like the perfect man for the job. Yes. Um, have you ever done a study like this before? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Scottish mama's speciality is clinical trials, so great. Very lovely. Well, this is your first time with us here. Don't worry, everything will be absolutely fine. If at any point during this you'd like to stop, uh, take a little pause, or you'd just like to stop completely, that's absolutely fine, sir. Oh, really? Do you know, a lot of people um, sort of have said that to me. It's been a while since they've been called sir. Yes, I, I can call you anything you like, though. Sir is fine. Brilliant. Okay, well, I just need to check sort of some admin details, if that's all right. Wonderful. Okay, so, to begin with, can you please tell me your full name and date of birth? Is that? Okay, yep, yeah. lovely. Perfect, and lovely. Oh, bit of a bit of a special birthday coming up this year. Very nice. Any plans? Oh, very nice, very nice. Well, absolutely. You've got to celebrate. Yes, although I'm not really a fan of birthdays. No, I think as I've got older, I've sort of uh, wanted to celebrate them less. But I suppose actually, you should, in a way, celebrate them more. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, that sounds wonderful. Um, okay then, could I just take your email address? We will send you a copy of the results if you would like. Wonderful. Uh-huh. Yep. At. Lovely. Perfect. And if you wouldn't mind, on this line just here, you'll see it says that you just consent to this sleep study. I know you have had to fill out some paperwork out at reception, but would you mind just signing this again for me now? Lovely. It just says that you're happy to um, take part um, and yeah, nice and simple. Perfect. Perfect. Lovely. Okay then, well, let's begin. Um, this shouldn't take too long to be honest with you. Um, it's normally about sort of 20 to 30 minutes uh, per subject, uh, or lovely gentleman like yourself. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, just relax, okay? And I'm going to begin with the questions. Perfect, okay. So, um, how many hours on average per night do you think that you get 
to sleep. Okay. Lovely. And um, have you struggled falling asleep in the past? Mm hmm. Okay, excuse me, my stomach is rumbling. I've had subject after subject today and I have missed my break. I do apologise if it's distracting. Oh, well, you're very kind, sir. <laughs> okay, so, um, a little bit of trouble. Okay. If you want to to the above, which you did, um, what techniques have you tried to help yourself fall asleep or get back to sleep? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Yes. It's interesting that you should mention sort of um sound based things. Yes, typically we associate that with things like ASMR. Oh, you've heard of it. Fantastic. Um, but also with sort of uh, things like white noise or um, any particular sounds that sort of drone things out, really. Drown. Did I say drone? Sorry about that. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, okay, great, great. Um, now, when it comes to bedtime, um, would you say that you consume any caffeine or alcohol within sort of a two, three hour window of you trying to go to sleep? Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. And how many units of alcohol do you think that you consume per week? Okay. And do you smoke at all or vape? Uh-huh. Okay. Great. And when it comes to your diet, would you say that you eat fairly healthily, um, a bit of a mix, or not very well? Uh-huh. Well, we all like the odd treat, don't we? Absolutely. All many treats, in my case. Yes. Okay, fantastic. It's all about that balance, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, how many glasses of water would you say that you consume per day? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Can be tricky. You like a coffee? Yeah. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. We'll pop that down. Don't worry if you don't have an answer to any of these questions. Like, that's absolutely fine. Honesty is appreciated. Okay, um, do you always eat breakfast? Okay. Okay, great, that's fine. And do you exercise at all? And if so, uh, how often per week? Uh-huh. Okay. What sort of thing do you get up to? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Okay. Uh-huh. Well, good for you. Absolutely. Well, I can see you're in very, very good shape, sir. What's wrong with my voice today? I am so sorry, sir. You've come in here for a professional appointment and I can't even get the words out. I know, I'm so sorry. I was going to say, or attempting to say, that you look in very good shape. You do. Yes, yes. Oh. What am I like? Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm more of a gentle exercise kind of girl, but I uh, love a bit of yoga. Yes, um, but each their own. Absolutely. Well, I can see that you do enjoy weights. Mm -hmm. It's a really good way to uh, stay in shape. Yes, very good for the heart as well. Perfect. Okay, bring that down. Lovely. And do you sleep alone or with someone else? Uh huh. Okay. Lovely. And tell me about your bed. Um, what size bed do you sleep in? Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Oh, it's lovely to have a nice big bed to stretch out in. 
Yes, yes, lovely. Okay. And tell me about your bedding. Do you like a soft, uh, medium or hard pillow? Okay. Uh-huh. Lovely. You can probably hear a little seagull there. Yes, it doesn't seem to matter what time of day it is, but I suppose that is the uh, way of having a sleep clinic near the sea. Absolutely. <laughs> Although it makes me think of summer. Yes. Oh, you're a summer man. Mm, I'm definitely a summer girl. Yes. Oh, I know. Well, don't worry, we're almost into spring. Yes, that's what I keep thinking to myself. Absolutely. Um, okay, where were we? Pillow, got pillow. And do you have a duvet, a sheet, uh, any blankets? Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I know, not a fan of all the cushions. Yeah, yeah, I think that was my neck that just crooked there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, not a fan of all the cushions. No, no, that's that's fair enough. I am a fan of a cushion. Yes, I do love a scat cushion. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's fine. Um, okay, let me just get my next set of questions. Lovely. Okay, you're doing really well. Um, oh, you're finding them relaxing. Oh, well, I'm so pleased. That's wonderful. This should be a nice relaxing experience. Absolutely. Um, now, thinking back to your um, sort of earlier years, um, have you ever struggled with sleep and had any sleep issues? Uh-huh. And tell me more about that. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Note that down. And have you ever tried to take any medication to help with your sleep? Yeah. Uh huh. And how did you find those? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. They work for some, but not for others. Yeah. And have you tried any um, natural remedies at all? Okay. Sure, sure, absolutely. All right, just note that down. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And would you describe yourself um, in a period of stress at the moment? Or you're in a period of stress, I should say. Uh-huh. Oh, bless you. You've got a lot on your shoulders. Okay, okay, that's fine. And do you find that your sleep is affected by stress? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what ways do you try and manage your stress? Do you um, turn to exercise? Do you um, try and do something fun? Um, what sort of thing do you try to do to sort of really help release that stress? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Of course, what we're really finding with these studies is that a lot of men are struggling to find a good way to release their stress. Um, we are finding uh, in all genders that exercise does help with stress relief, um, but particularly with men we're finding that there seems to be a lot of uh, pent-up stress. Um, so some of these studies that we're doing are really helping with that. So that's great. Good to know. Okay, just a few more questions. Yes, just a few more to go. Um, so when it comes to sleep, do you find that you're um, getting quite hot in the night? Um, or do you find that you're sort of quite comfortable? Or are you quite cold? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm always cold. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and just a couple more. Um, have you experienced uh, nightmares or night terrors, anything like that? Okay. Mm. Lovely. 
And at the moment, how would you rate your level of sleep in terms of quality? 10 being the best sleep, um, 1 being terrible. Um, at the moment. Okay. What's the worst level it's been you can sort of remember, say, in the last five years? Okay. And where would you like it to be? Of course, a 10. <laughs> Sometimes people say they just like to improve it a little bit. Sometimes people will say, oh, well, I want to be the best sleeper. Um, so you want to be the best sleeper. Okay, great. Lovely. Well, those are all the questions. Thank you so much sir, for asking um, or answering those even. Where is my brain today? Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to do your blood pressure and listen to your breathing. Okay. So um, do you have any medical conditions? Uh -huh. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, so all I'm going to ask you to do is just do some nice, deep, steady breathing for me. Perfect. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Just carry on with that level of breathing for me. Okay, lovely. Your breathing sounds nice and steady. Wonderful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your blood pressure. Okay. Now, when was the last time you had a blood pressure reading done? Okay. Do you remember if it was in the normal range or high, low? Fairly normal. Okay. Well, we can have a go today. This is a nice simple one to use. Um, so all we're going to do is strap this round your um, arm. Okay. Okay. Just going to strap it on there. Perfect. And if I could just, I'll sort of support your arm for you. Lovely. Just hold it at a little bit more of an angle. That's perfect. Just steady breathing. Wonderful. Let's just turn it on. Okay, it will gradually tighten as you can hear. I'll just support your arm for you a little bit. Just stay nice and calm. Good. Lovely, that's fine. 118 over 75. It's absolutely fine. Perfect. Let's note that down. We are um, finding that sometimes men who do have the higher blood pressure re uh, reading have a higher levels of stress um, and do find sleeping more difficult. But um, Seems like you have a normal reading there, so that's good. Lovely. Well, we can move on to a little bit of the fun light relief bit. And all I want you to do is I'd like you to just tell me your response to these particular sounds. Okay, so I've got a little selection here. Um, and I simply would love you to tell me how they make you feel, if they make you feel relaxed. And if you could imagine yourself sort of falling asleep listening to these. Perfect. Okay, we're going to begin. This is a little uh, sea sponge. Um, and unlike a normal sponge, uh, until it is uh, wet, it is actually quite hard. So, just, yes, it's uh, quite sort of a scratchy uh, sound. So, just have a little listen.
Okay, would you like to tell me your response to that one? Okay. No, no, that's absolutely fine. Um, honesty is the best policy, as I've said, so no problem. Okay, let's move on to this then. So from scratching to tapping on a wooden box. I love this little box. Creativity takes courage. Very cute. Okay, so. Would you like to tell me, sir, what you thought of the sound of that wood? Uh-huh. It reminds me of rain too, a little bit. Yes, the sort of droplets. Lovely. Okay. Good. Lovely. Well, let's move on to... Oh, try this one. So this is um, a bit of cork. Um, so let's see if you like the sound of this. What do you think of that? It's surprisingly soothing, isn't it? Ah, uh, wonderful, wonderful. It's quite a sort of natural sound in a way. Yeah, we're finding that men are responding uh, very much to the sort of uh, natural sounds. Ah, uh, wonderful. Okay, um, so let's give Let's give this one a try, actually. Just move a couple of things about. Okay, so this is the sound of a little toothbrush now, so... Okay, so would you like to tell me what you thought about that? Uh-huh. Wonderful, okay. Yes, I find any sort of um, brushing sounds particularly soothing. Absolutely. Oh, yes, having your hair brushed. Oh, so lovely, so lovely. Mm, it's sort of that nostalgic comfort. Lovely. Okay, made a note of that. Um, next up then, we can try this one. We're going to do a little bit of a two-in-one here. So we're going to use a nice metal sort of tin tapping. And then we're going to try some lid sounds. Okay. 
Okay, how did you respond to that? Uh huh. Wonderful. Make a mental note whilst we do the lid sounds. What did you think of the lead sounds? Uh huh. Some of my favourite. Yes. Oh, that was some mussel balm. It smells lovely, doesn't it? It's got a sandalwood in it. Yeah, really nice. Um, okay, perfect. Just a few more to go. Wonderful. Okay, um, so next up. I'm going to do a little bit of a visual one. So we've got a nice little brush here. Okay, I'm going to do some brushing like this and then what's called a stipple. Okay, like a best. Wonderful. What did you think about that? Mm hmm Okay. Absolutely. Sometimes we find with um, our male subjects that uh, they find it a little bit fussy, like a makeup brush or something in their face. Um, others really, really enjoy it, but it's just interesting. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, well, the last one, or oh, we've got two. We've got two. Um, okay. Uh, what would you prefer, sort of crinkling or some more sort of tapping? Okay, we'll try a crinkle, a little bit different. Um, so here we have a thing of protein powder. Yep. So we're just going to... Okay, tell me what you think. Oh, I love the smell of that. Yeah, it smells really nice. Uh huh. Okay. Nice, nice. Lovely. Well, we're finished with our final one then, which is a very cute little box. Um, so, this box. This is a sort of um, cardboardy um, box. So. What did you think about that? Perfect. Okay. Well, I am happy to say, sir, that that is the end of anal study for today. Um, I will be analysing the results, and as I said, I will send you a copy, and that should be with you in around sort of a couple of weeks. 
Yes, um, if we find that your results will be useful for our second study, then we will invite you back in. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for today. It's been so lovely to meet you and to have such a nice gentleman in. Yes, you're doing an important thing, so thank you very much. Oh, you are too kind. Yes, yes, you are free to leave. You're most welcome. Not a problem. Oh, and you. All right, and I may see you again soon. Wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. All right. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye then. Oh, yes, yes, you coat. All right. Bye, bye. Lovely. Okay. Well, that's great. Got some interesting answers there. Perfect. Get that all entered into the system. Build their sleep profile. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Well, I may go for that.